guys and welcome back to Doki Doki Literature Club. Hope you're having a great day. Like, comment, share, subscribe, this and take all that much time. Okay, uh, I didn't forget about this game because I do want to finish it, but there's a lot of read it, so bear with me. So, uh, we're gonna go back right in. I technically don't remember where we left off, so let me check. Then, the last time I played this was March 4th, so it's been a minute, but let's go in. Okay, so this is where we left off. Uh, reading the poems. Alright, so let, let's just go right through them, bro. I told Natsuki I was interested in her poems yesterday. If you want this to go quicker, I, I suggest to uh, put the play speed. You know, at, at, where you could, you know, it goes a little bit faster. Okay. Um, it's probably only fair if I share mine with her first. I'm gonna keep this like 10 minutes, 15 minutes. Okay. Well, let's start with the things I don't like. Alright, what's wrong with your tooth though, girl? Like, you got a little, you a little vamp. First of all, um, Natsuki rereads my poem. Never mind, I don't feel like giving you my opinion. So you're wasting my time. Eh. Then what's the point of sharing in the first place? Exactly, I just slapped this. I wrote this when I could have been doing other things. Oh wait, okay, so from what I'm trying to, so you telling me I wrote this, right, because you wanted to read my thing, but now you don't want to read it and don't want to give me an opinion, I should hope you die next. <laughs> Stop. Uh, in fact, remember how I said I wanted to read your poems? That's what I had in mind when writing this. I want to help you feel comfortable enough to share yours. Alright, chill out, Chris. La Monica said, y y y what, what is that? Well... I would be more comfortable sharing my poem if yours was if yours was really bad. What? You were supposed to show me some dumb poem and make me go, ha, well it's not that great, but let me show you what real literature looks like. Also, I want up you, that's what you get, top G. And you went and ruined it. I hope you're happy. Good. At least I feel better. At least I'm better than you. So in other words, you're saying you liked it? it yeah, you liked it. Stop. Don't lie. Don't lie. Natsuki retort gets caught in her throat. <laughs> Pause. What? What is re, no? I mean, she's a re, what is a retort? What is that? You, you're so you just you you don't understand anything, don't you? I don't care. I'm better than you. I already told you that you don't have to go announcing it to the world like you're all self-important. I'm better than you. Pretty sure you never actually said that. I'm better than you. I say that mostly to myself. Natsuki must really hate me or something. I hope you die. I'm, I, it's a joke. I can't figure out it's a win or a loss that she liked my poem. She liked it. She hating, bro. If, haters will be your motivators. Haters, lo your haters love you the most, actually. In case you still need to show me yours, right? <laughs> Fine, I guess. Only because Monica will make me if I don't. All right, let me read your. Th this is your poem, really? <laughs> Eagles can fly. Monkeys can climb, crickets can leap, horses can race, owls can see, cheetahs can run, eagles can fly, people can try, but that's about it. Get this thing out of here, man. Yeah, I told you that you weren't gonna like it. Yeah, I don't like it. That thing was weak, man. Come on. I like it. Bro, stop trying to, like, bro, you need to stop lying, bro. That's a sin. Lying is a sin, bro. Do not lie. What? Just be honest. I'm being honest, but this dude over here trying to be a sin. I am. No, it's garbage. Why are you so convinced that I wouldn't like it? Well, because everyone in high school thinks that writing has to be all and stuff. So people don't even take my writing seriously. Yeah, I get it, but like, even I could write that and I don't do poems. Come on, man. But isn't the point of poems for people to express themselves? Like, I could write something right now, bro. Like, no, okay, never mind. Your writing style wouldn't make your message any less valid. Yes, exactly. I like when it's easy to read, but it hits you hard. Pause. Like in this poem. It didn't really hit me hard at all, to be honest, but... Seeing everyone around you do great things can be really disheartening. So I decided to write about it. Yeah, I understand. But the other nice thing about simple writing is that it puts more weight on the wordplay. Like I set up for a rhyme at the end, but that made it fall flat on a purpose. That ain't nothing new, bro. I be listening to Danny Brown, bro. He be on that like crazy, okay? Uh, it helps me bring out the feeling in the last line. So you did. I guess more 
went into it than I realized. That's what it means to be a pro. <laughs> Shut up. I'm glad you learned something. Alright, can I'm done? I want to read the other poems. Didn't expect that from the youngest one here, did you? Yeah, I guess not. I decided to humor her with the last comment. I don't really care how old everyone is, but if Nasuki's feeling proud, then I won't take that away from her. Uh, let's go read Yuri's and then Monica will be last. Let's see what you got, Yuri. Hmm. Yuri stares at the poem. My, my poem? Is it bad? A minute passes more than enough time for her to finish reading. I mean, she gotta take it all in, you know? Um. S sorry. I forgot to start speaking. Um, it's fine. Don't force yourself. I'm not. I just need to put my thoughts into words. Hold on. Okay. This is your first time writing a poem, right? Yes. Why do you ask? I'm just making sure. Why? Just say it's garbage, bro. I just, just be flat honest. I would rather have that than you lie. I guess that I might, it might be after reading through it. Ah, uh, so is that bad? No. Did I just raise my voice? Uh, I'm sorry. Yuri burst her face in her hands. Her hands are down here. Okay, I couldn't help but notice that I got to sneeze and it won't come out. Pause. Uh, several minutes and we really haven't gotten anywhere. Okay, so let's move on to Monica. We're not going anywhere. I don't got my... It might take Yuri a while to get used to new people. It's fine. I really didn't notice. What were you saying? Right, um, it's just that there's specific writer habits that are usually typical of new writers. Like what? And have been through that myself. I kind of learned to pick on them, okay? I think most noticeable thing I recognize in new writers is that they try to make their style very deliberate. What? In other words, they tend to pick a writer's style separate from the topic matter and they form it for two, two together, okay? The end result is that the bowl of the style and the expressiveness are weakened. It's my first time. Calm down, Yuri. You see how I changed? I'm a different man, bro. I ain't, gonna, I ain't falling for you no more. Once Yuri finds a train of thought, it's as if her demeanor totally changes. Her stammering is completely gone. She sounds like an expert. Of course, that's not something you can be blamed for. There are so many different skills and techniques that go into writing even a simple poem. Okay, that, that's great. I didn't ask for it. I just to say if it's bad or not. I, I didn't even read that. It might take you some time, but it all comes with practice and learning by example and trying new things. All right, thank you. Bye. Uh, I also hope that everyone else in the club gives you valuable feedback. Yeah, yeah, cool. Uh, and that's just can be. A, yeah, I, I, I got. I get it, man. Bye is how. Um, well, never mind. I shouldn't be talking about people like that. Sorry. It's fine. I'm not sure if Yuri's apologizes to sell me or Nasuski. Yuri, you, you have problems. I still remember what you did. You, you was... I remember that. Do you mind if I read your poem now? Yeah, let me, yeah, I forgot I had to read yours. Please do. I love sharing. If it's long, I'm skipping it. Alright, she smiles. Great. I, I, I think I blow my nose. After all, isn't this supposed to be a literature club? Alright, let me read it. The... My hair illuminate beneath. I'm not gonna read it. I cannot read your 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 font. So it, it was beautiful. Wow. Sorry. Yeah, you do have terrible handwriting. I couldn't read anything, so I didn't even read it. What? I wasn't thinking that at all. She, she knows I was thinking that. That's what she's saying it. But you took you a long time. I didn't read it, but I, yeah. Ah. Well, I just don't read script very often. I actually think your handwriting is pretty. Stop. Bro, come on, man. Like, I get you gotta compliment a woman, but, like, you over here trying your hardest to get stung, bro. You you notice the past episodes I was simping? Kind of a little bit. Now, now we, it's different. That's relief. Also, I like the poem. I don't even know what it was about. Even though it's short, it was bit really descriptive. It wasn't too short. I usually write longer poems. Not at all. I'm really glad you liked it. I'll be honest. Since our first time sharing, I wanted to write something a little more mild. Something easy to digest, I suppose. Are you into ghosts? Huh? Actually, the story isn't about ghosts at all. Really? I must totally miss the point. Well, I suppose you did only glance over it after all. Like, you see, she knows I did that. <laughs> of course I did. I have no idea what's it about. But I remember the, the poets often express their own thoughts, feelings, and experiences in their work. They usually do more 
and tell a simple story or paint a picture. In this case, perhaps, the subject of the poem is only being symbolically compared to a ghost. Lingering in her last remaining place of comfort, unable to let go of the past. Assumed to be- Okay, I didn't ask all of this, bro. That's a lot more put in that way. I hadn't even thought of that. That's impressive. It's not really. Well, it makes me happy that you think that. Just remember that. Okay, yeah. Can, can I can I move on now? Yeah, maybe you're right. I guess I have to keep trying. I'm c counting on you. All right, thank you. All right, Monica, you better be short, bro, because I ain't trying to go over here to have these long conversations. Hey, well, what's up? Having a good time so far? No, not really. Stop lying, Chris, bro. You are sinning, man. You're breaking the commandment. Good. Glad to hear it. By the way, since you're new and everything, if you ever have any suggestions for the club, like new activities or things we can do better, yes, can we actually cancel this? Nobody's joining, bro. I'm always listening. Don't be afraid to bring things up. Okay, yeah, I got it. All right, I'll keep that in mind. Of course, I'll be af of course I'll be afraid to bring things up. I'm much better off just going with the flow until I'm more settled in. Anyway, want to share your poem? Yeah, it's kind of embarrassing, but I guess I have to. <laughs> Don't worry, Chris. We're all a little embarrassed today, you know. But it's that sort of barrier that we all learn to get past soon. Yeah, that's true. I hear Monica my poem. Hmm. I like it. Oh, thank you. I, I barely tried, but really. It's a lot cuter than I expected. What? <laughs> oh, jeez. No, no, no. It kind of makes me think of something that Suski would write. Wait, this is kind of giving me the flashbacks from like when Sayori was right. Yo, rest in peace, Sayori. If you haven't seen it, my reaction to that, I think, yo, that, that, sc that scared me, bro. But, um, yeah, now Suski definitely died next. I have a feeling. And she's a good writer, too. So that's a compliment, uh, if you say so. Yeah. Of course, in, if you're interested in Suski, then always keep a snack on you. I'm not. She, she'll cling to you like a po. Okay, I don't. I don't want Nasuski at all. Ah, Nasuski doesn't give her much lunch money. Dang, or leave her any food in the house. So she's in a, <laughs> a deadbeat dad. Like I mean, like he's like he's there, but not there. Okay, but sometimes she loses all her strength and shuts down, like earlier. This is just a guess, but I think she's so small because of her malnu malnutrition is interfering with her adolescence girl. Yeah, I know a couple people like that. Like, bro, please eat. But hey, some guys are into pitsy curls. You no, I like my girls, you know, a little mature, you know, like, you know, like that. They, they just kind of look a little. I like my girls, you know, a little mature, you know, like she look like she got a little growth in her, you know, a little, you know what I'm saying? Sorry, just trying to look at the bright side. <laughs> yeah, I mean, anyway, yeah, you. Do, do you want to remind? Yes, please g g give it to me. Don't worry, I'm not very. Th why you sound pretty confident for someone who claims to not be very good? Well, that's because I have to sound confident. That doesn't mean I always feel that way, you know. Okay, yeah, great. All right, just give me the thing. Let's read it then. Why is it so long? All right, let's just. Uh, but he wasn't looking at me. Confused, I frankly glanced at my surroundings, but my bur my but my burnt eyes can no longer see color. How do you how do you go down? Oh. Um, talking. Okay, so I'm assuming you're talking to a man or something. Okay. How the freak I get out? Oh no. So what do you think? Hmm. It's very free form. That's what you call it. Sorry, I'm not really that right person to ask for feedback. Ha! It's okay. Yeah, that kind of style has gotten pretty popular nowadays. That is a lot of poems that have been putting in time in between words and, and lines. When performed out loud, it can be really powerful. Uh, what was the inspiration behind this one? Uh, well, I'm not sure if I know how to put it. I guess you could say that I had some kind of infinite recently. What What is that word? I've, there's been a couple of words in here that I've not seen in my life till now. It's been influencing my poems a bit. An inf infinity? Epiphany. Am I saying that right? Yeah, something like that. I'm kind of nervous to talk about these stuff like that because it's kind of coming on strongly. Maybe after everyone is better friends with each other. Anyway, here's Monica's writing tip of the day. Sometimes when you're writing a poem or a story, your brain gets too fixated on a specific point. If you're trying so hard to make it perfect, then you'll never make any progress. Just force yourself into something down on the paper and 
tidied up later. Another way to think about it. Okay, I didn't, I'm not asking for all of you. Man, y'all, you girls talk so much. If you keep your pen in the same spot for too long, you're just getting a big dark puddle of ink. So just move, move your hand and go with the flow. That's my advice for today. Okay, that's for listening. Are we done? <sighs> exactly, that's how I feel, bro. But you still stay alive. I guess that's everyone. I glanced around the room. It was a little more stre- stressful than I anticipated. As if everyone is judging me from my mid Yorker riding abilities. I feel like I'm getting a jump scare. Even though just being nice, there's no way my poems can stand up to theirs. This is a literature club after all. Sa. I guess that's what I ended up getting myself into. Across the room, Monica's writing something on her notebook. My eyes land on Yuri Natsuki. They gingerly exchange sheets of paper sharing their respective poems. As a reading tandem, I watched them as their expressions change. Natsuki eyebrows furrow in frustration. Meanwhile, Yuri smiles, sa- sa- smiles sadly. Oh, okay. What's with this language? Eh? Um, you, did you say something? Oh no, it's nothing. Natsuki dismissively returns to the poem desk with one hand. I guess you could say it's fancy. Ah, thanks. Yours is cute. Cute. It's like mine. What? Did you completely miss the symbolism or something? It's clearly about the feeling of giving up. How can I be cute? I know that. I just meant the language, I guess. I was trying to say something nice. Eh. You mean you have to try hard to come up with something nice to say? Thanks, but it really didn't come out nice at all. Um, well, I do have a couple. I do have a couple suggestions, huh? If I was looking for suggestions, I would have asked someone actually liked it, which people did, by the way. Oh, you say me, Monica? Oh, Monica liked it, and Chris did too. So based on that, I'll gladly give you some suggestions of my own. First of all, excuse me. I appreciate the offer, but I spent a long time establishing. Hey, <laughs> damn. Okay, wow. I don't expect it to change anytime soon, unless of course I come across something. Okay, I mean, at least you said it. I'm like, bro, you ain't gonna just because what you say, I'm not gonna. Okay, which I haven't yet. And Chris like my poem too, you know. What? He even told me he was impressed by it. Okay. Oh. I didn't realize you were still invested in trying to press our new member, Yubri. Yeah. Goofy B, bro. Eh? That's not what I... You... You're just... Yubri stands up as well. Maybe it's just, just that Chris Bishop buys more than I appreciate yours. Oh! Huh? How do you know he didn't appreciate my advice more? Are you full of yourself? No. I was full of myself. I would deliberately go out my way to make everything I do overly cute to see. Yeah, you. Well, you know what? I was the one whose boobs magically grew a bigger size as soon as Chris started showing up. Hey, at least you really got some chest. Not like you, you flat like the desk. Yeah, I just roasted you. What? Looking at me with that face. I don't even know, but you a disgrace. Leave me alone. Let me go talk to you. Three. Nasuski. Um, Nasuski. That's a little. This doesn't involve you. Shut up. Oh! <laughs> Taking out your own insecurities on others like that. You really act as young as you look, Nasuski. Me? Look who's talking. You want to be edgy. Oh, what? Oh, edgy? Sorry that my lifestyle is too much for someone of your mental age to comprehend. <laughs> Come on! I want to see a square. See? Just saying that proves my point. Most people learn to get over themselves after they graduate in middle school. You know, I'm trying to keep up with them. If you want to prove anything, then stop harassing others with your sick and an attitude. You think you can counterbalance your toxic personality just by dressing and acting cute? Oh! The only thing about you is. How hard you try? Well, be careful. You might cut yourself on that. Oh, yo. Oh, my bad. You already do. The- oh, dang. You just accused me of cutting my. Oh, how the table. What the is wrong with your head? 
Oh, did oh, why did I stop playing this? Yeah, go on. Let Chris hear everything you really think. I'm sure he'll be head over your heels for you after this. Suddenly, Yuri turns towards me as she noticed I was standing here. Chris, what? You should slap her or something. I She's just trying to make me look bad. That's not true. That's not like a JPEG Mafia beat. First off, you must she started it. How, it, it wait, what, 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 what? I don't, I don't like, that was pretty mean, bro. So I'm going with you. What? Wait, I don't. What the freak is going on? Why don't we step outside for a little bit? Oh. Sorry about that. They really should have tried to get you in wall. It's probably better for us to stay out of this. We'll go back inside once they're done yelling. Uh, some president I am, right? I can't even confirm my own club. Bro, why are you... I just wish I was able to be a little more assertive sometimes. But I never have it in me to put my foot down against others. You want to stay on right? Anyway, if this makes you want to spend less time with the others, then that's fine. I'll be happy to spend time with you instead. Natsuki runs out the cl classroom. Okay. Oh, they. Oh, they. <laughs> you cried. No, she went that way. Oh, dear. Well, it looks like they're done. Yo, you probably says some mad disrespectful. I'm not gonna. I didn't mean it. I didn't mean it. I didn't mean it. you wait. Maybe, maybe, wait. Maybe because he said the dad's not there. I think the dad's dad. Oh, she probably says that. She, maybe I'm just making assumptions. Yuri's rocking back and forth with the problems on her forehead. I didn't mean it. I believe you. I have no idea what Yuri might have said to Nasuski or did Chris. Please don't hate me. Please, I'm not like this. There's something wrong with me today. It's fine, Yuri. We know you didn't mean it. Besides, I'm sure Nasuki will forget all about it by tomorrow. Completely. Anyway, the meeting is over. You can go home now if you want. Yuri looks at me like she wants to say something. You, you want me to walk with you? But she glances over Monica. You can go first, Monica. I like to stay a little bit longer. I'm president, so I should be the last one out. I'll wait for you to be done. Well, I'm vice president, so please let me take that responsibility today. Kind of sounds like you don't want me around. Yes, please. just leave, Monica. If she doesn't want you, just leave. It's not that. It's not that. I just didn't get much of a chance to discuss my book with Chris. Oh. It would just be embarrassing with you listening. I guess I don't really have a choice, do I? No, just, just leave. I'm sorry for causing trouble. All right, we're gonna end off the episode with that. Um, I'm definitely gonna keep playing as well. Wow, wow, the tables turned really quickly on that. I was not expecting it to go like that. That was crazy. Uh, we're gonna get back on Doki Doki Literature Club. I'm definitely gonna finish this. We caught. It's gonna probably take like three years, but we gonna finish it. Um, I hope you enjoyed this episode. I can finish this episode. Oh my goodness, bro! They was both of each other.